Hello everyone and welcome to the course overview lecture. I have a quick favor to ask of you and it's that you please don't skip this lecture. It's going to be a very brief and quick lecture but we're going to cover a lot of important things to give you the best course taking experience possible. In this lecture we're just going to quickly cover some useful tips for going through the course, how to get help during the course, some advice on how to approach the course, where to find the course notebooks, and how to use the student chat channel. So to begin, just some useful tips as far as watching the course. If you want to slow down or speed up the videos, you can use the video player settings. That's usually a little gear icon, either on the bottom left or bottom right of the actual video player, and that will allow you to speed up or slow down the videos. Now you should also make sure to view the videos in 1080p quality. If the videos are ever blurry, I upload everything in 1080p, so you can go ahead and change that setting again using the video player settings. Now if you want to download the videos, you can use the official Udemy app to download videos of the course lectures. And if you have questions on the Udemy app, you can go ahead and email Udemy support since I don't actually control the Udemy application. Now you should also make sure to use the Q&A forums and just search for them because there's lots of previous discussion already available there for you. Now as far as how to get help in the course, if you're experiencing some platform level issues, please email support at udemy.com or go to the Udemy support page and open up a new ticket there. What I mean by platform level issues are things like blurry videos or video playback issues, audio issues, maybe you don't hear the audio, or things like certification issues or payment issues. If you ever experience things that are just higher level platform issues, I actually don't control that. I upload everything, make sure the audio is working, and I upload everything in 1080p. So if you are experiencing some video playback issues or audio issues, just go ahead and email Udemy support and they can usually help you out. Sometimes it's a browser issue or some cookies issues and they're very helpful. As well as certification and payment, again, I don't control that. Please email Udemy support for those issues. Now, let's imagine you have an issue related to the course content. Before posting to the question and answer forums, I would ask you that you please confirm the two following points. The first point, that you're using a provided environment YML file, and the second point is that you have tried running our provided notebooks directly. And what I mean by running our provided notebooks directly, I don't just mean copying and pasting some chunks of code into your own notebook. I mean actually running the entire notebook directly. If you just actually just follow those two steps of running our provided notebooks and the provided environment file, they're pretty much guaranteed to run. And it's really often that you're typing along and it's really easy to make a simple typo that can cause an error. And if you just follow along with the two steps above, that will avoid any typos. So it's really common to make even a very tiny typo and the entire code will stop working. So before posting to the Q&A forums, please check these two points. And if the notebook that we provide you is working in the environment, but your code isn't working when you are following along, it means you made a simple typo somewhere. And go ahead and compare your notes to our notebooks. Now some general advice I would give on how to get help in deep learning, Python, or PyTorch is to first double check against the course notebooks as we already mentioned. And second, often a quick Google search or Stack Overflow search of your error or your question will often reveal the results immediately. So that's probably the fastest way to get help if you're not checking the course notebooks. It's just a quick Google or Stack Overflow search. I would also recommend that you search the Q&A forums for previous questions posted. Since we have a lot of students in a lot of our courses, it's very likely that someone else has posted the same question as you. So always do a search before actually posting a new question. And you can also check out the FAQ lecture for frequently asked questions. Now, if none of this has actually fixed your problem and you still have a question, you can submit a new question in the Q&A forums, but please make sure to include the details on what you've tried and a screenshot of your error or your code. If you don't provide those, we're simply gonna post an auto reply asking you to provide those details and that screenshot. Please keep in mind, however, that we cannot help you with your personal deep learning projects outside of the course material. If you're working on a company project or on your homework, unfortunately, we have too many students to provide private counseling for your company projects or your homework projects. However, if you do want to talk to someone about those sort of projects, the Discord chat channel is a great place to share your questions on your personal projects. You can use the link in the automated welcome message to join our Discord server. The automated welcome message also includes a link to a YouTube video describing how to use and log into the chat server. Click on your messages on Udemy to find the auto welcome message. Remember, the purpose of the chat channel is to connect students with other students and tackle on your own deep learning PyTorch projects. Technical questions related to the actual course material are probably still best suited for the Q&A forums. As far as how to approach the course, 
Every student is different, but my general advice is that the best way to approach the course is to review the notebooks along with the video. The notebooks contain code used in every lecture and are organized in the same order they appear in the course. The video usually contains explanatory concepts that can't be shown through code, or I will explain in more detail what each line of code is doing. As far as how to actually get these course notebooks, the resource links to the notebooks can be found in the FAQ lecture, and I've also linked them here in this course overview lecture. We provide all the notebooks used inside of a zip file. So simply download that zip file, and then you can unzip it to any location. The resource folder itself is usually a little blue folder next to the lecture title. Although if Udemy updates its platform and changes where the resource folder is shown, simply just Google search Udemy support resources, and they should tell you the latest information. But currently, as I'm filming this, you can find the resources as a little blue folder next to the lecture title on the right-hand side. Now, as far as unzipping the notebooks and opening the notebooks and setting that all up, we're going to discuss this setup in more detail in the setup and installation lecture. We'll also discuss the environment file setup there. So go ahead and just download that zip file, but we'll discuss it in a lot more detail in that setup and installation lecture. Okay, so that's it for the course overview lecture. Thank you so much for watching it all. And then just a huge thank you for enrolling in this course. It really means a lot to me that you've come to this course to learn about Python, deep learning, and PyTorch. And I really hope you enjoy the awesome topics that we're about to cover throughout the course. Thanks, and I'll see you at the next lecture.